Hello everybody, my name is Kieran from The Checkpoint, the only gaming channel that is part of the Circle of Life, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I think is the best rushing class with submachine guns that you can use in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare multiplayer. So let's get right into it. <laughs> So my weapon of choice for this is the KF-5 submachine gun. Now the reason I, I like the KF-5 for this rushing class is because, because it's got a high fire rate and obviously when you're rushing around having a gun of a high fire rate will make people die more quickly so that's definitely useful. Now since this is a rushing class I've decided to use a laser sight as one of my attachments for the KF-5. The laser height will obviously tighten your hit spread making your hit fire more accurate. Now this means that you can kill people at a short to medium range more quickly so that means you can move on and progress through the map and progress through the game more quickly. There may be other other gunfights, maybe more people trying to kill you at the same time as you're in a gunfight. So if you get that first gunfight over with as quickly as possible, uh, then you can kind of jump out of the way and boost, dash, slide everywhere, and engage in your second gunfight that you could potentially win more easily. Now the four grip will also definitely help that. That's the second attachment for the KF5, and the four grip, four grip, the four grip. Wow, that's definitely a good attachment. The four grip um, obviously reduces your recoil. Now that will help you at a medium range, uh, you probably don't want to use this gun at a long range, it definitely won't work out for you, but at kind of those medium ranges you can definitely win gunfights uh, and the foregrip will help with that. Obviously less recoil means that you can uh, more easily win that gunfight and then move on to whatever next thing you want to go in the game more quickly. Now I haven't chosen a secondary for this, um, uh, for this class setup and the reason being is because I value perks more than a secondary weapon. Now, as you can see, I have put an XI launcher grenade. You can swap that grenade out for a secondary if you want to. It's personal preference. This class setup is purely just kind of like a, an exemplar kind of example of um, what a rushing class could look like and one of the things that has worked really well for me. So as you can see, I've chosen five perks using the perk one, uh, sorry, perk three and perk two uh, greed wildcard. So obviously I've spent two, two points on my wildcards there. So for perk one, I've chosen lightweight. And obviously since this is a rushing class, you're kind of rushing around in the enemy spawn, or not necessarily the enemy spawn, you're kind of running around the map uh, trying to kill enemies at a close range. So obviously lightweight will help a lot with that. You're running faster, so A, you can get to places more quickly, you can get to cover more quickly, uh, you can get to the enemy spawn more quickly, and B, uh, you're also more nimble. Uh, you can kind of dodge people and kind of dash about everywhere uh, very quickly, so it's kind of harder for enemies to kill you. Obviously lightweight doesn't uh, make your speed that more increased, but uh, it's still definitely a massive boost, especially in a rushing class. So lightweight is probably an absolute must if you want to use a submachine gun in this game, because, like I said, it makes you more nimble. Now I've chosen two perks for the perk 2 category, and I've chosen peripherals and gung-ho. So let's talk about peripherals, uh, that basically increases your minimap coverage. Now the reason why I really like this is because obviously you have a larger minimap within the game. If you have a larger minimap you can kind of detect more enemies within the vicinity, and you can be more prepared and more ready for those gun fights so people don't take you by surprise. I also like gung-ho because it enables you to sp uh, what's it called? Enables you to fire while sprinting and uh, sliding. And that's definitely a massive thing, especially when you're rushing. When you're rushing around, you're more likely to be sliding and sprinting, uh, kind of sprinting around the map, sliding into cover. So if someone does take you by surprise, the ability to kind of shoot them down whilst you're sprinting and sliding is definitely a very valuable asset to have within your rushing class, and it will help you win those gunfights uh, and hopefully win those gunfights more easily. Now, I've also chosen two perk threes, which are Blast Suppressor and Toughness. Toughness, obviously, for a reduced flinch to help you win those gunfights, especially at a medium range uh, when you're not hit firing, when you have to ADS. Uh, it will help you kind of uh, win those mid range gunfights more easily, and it will definitely help towards that. And Blast Suppressor, obviously, when you're rushing, you're going to be sliding, you're going to be boost jumping, you're going to be dashing, you're going to be dodging, you're going to be slamming, and uh, having the Blast Suppressor will just hide those movements from the enemy minimap. If you don't know, uh, if you don't have the Blast Suppressor perk, every single one of your EXO movements uh, will show up on the enemy minimap. It's kind of like a little red circle. So having the Blast Suppressor perk will completely remove that from the enemy uh, minimap. So they have no idea that you're jumping and dashing and sliding and boosting and slamming uh, all over the place, and they'll have no idea about that. So that's definitely kind of a must. As I said, uh, if you didn't see my best assault rifle class setup video, um, I think Bla Blast Suppressor is definitely the best perk in the game for that reason. Now I've chosen an exo ability for Cloak, and the reason why I like Cloak, it kind of goes hand in hand with Lightweight. You're kind of this nimble uh, soldier, 
It's kind of running about in the enemy spawn and dashing about all over the place. And uh, if you have cloak, people may not see you. Obviously cloak doesn't make you completely invisible, but it does make you harder to see. So if you kind of want to run past uh, kind of an alleyway where enemies might be uh, very quickly, and then people might not see you in that case, so it can help you get to the enemy spawn more easily. Uh, as I said earlier, I have chosen an EMP grenade, and the reason why I like an EMP grenade is because obviously you can chuck it into the enemy spawn and uh, it can just disorientate your enemies and uh, it can really help you win those gunfights because they're going to have no idea where they are. Obviously the HUD is going to be down for about 10 seconds and they're not going to have a clue. Now as I said, you can swap that out for a secondary if you'd rather have a secondary weapon, such as the RW1 pistol or the Atlas 45 or a PDW, something like that that can you quickly pull out if you run out of ammo with your SMG. But as I said, I like to use an EMP grenade instead. You can always pick up another weapon on the ground to use as your secondary, I usually do that. But obviously sometimes you may not have, you may forget to pick a weapon up, or you may not have to have the chance to pick a weapon up, so you may be kind of unprepared for that. And finally, uh, I've only got one score streak here, obviously I kind of like to load up my classes with perks because I value them more, and having the UAV as a score streak is a really really good, it good idea. Now the reason for that is because obviously it only costs 400 or 450 if you put the speed uh, module on it, which, like I have, and uh, that means you'll get it every 450 points that you get, it will just keep cycling through every life, so every 450 points you get is a UAV. Now. 450 points would take the average player maybe 1 minute, 1 minute 20 seconds to get and the UAV lasts for around 30 to 40 seconds so for up to half the time that you're playing this game you could have a UAV up in the air now if you include any teammates that may get UAVs any uh, people you're playing with they may get UAVs as well you can nearly have a constant UAV if you just have people on your team always just running UAVs you can pretty much have a constant UAV on your team which would definitely be a massive help so guys, that's been my rushing class setup video for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Multiplier. Multiplier? Multiplier? Jesus. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. This is just kind of like an example of what a rushing class should look like. So you may want not want to copy it exactly. You may want to just follow some of the perks I've taken and you definitely want to experiment with some submachine guns. Because the KF5 may not be for you. Uh, you may find that you like the ASM1 better or the SN6 or whatever. Just experiment with all of them and uh, choose which one is right for you and then experiment with the perks and everything as well. This is just an example of what has been successful for me. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like and obviously subscribe if you have not already. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Real Checkpoint. So guys, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.